morning, everybody. I'm so happy that I can be here again in person. I think it was uh, eight months ago that we met the last time as ministers uh, really in one room. And uh, it's also a very good sign of hope that we are able to do this today because uh, it is showing that the fight against the pandemic makes progress on the health sector side but also on the economic side and that uh, brings me to the two main topics we are discussing today and which will be of importance for our agenda the first is to discuss about the recovery program and all the things necessary to make it happen so there are still some countries that have to ratify uh, the agreements and there are still some programs to be um, brought to the commission but in the end, I think this will happen up to the summer, and then a very, very new step in European history can start. It is the first time that we give a very strong com common answer to fight an economic crisis in Europe, and I'm very proud that it was feasible the last year to develop the structure of such a recovery program and uh, to develop the European Union to that stage. It will make a difference and even when the crisis is over I think we will see that we have made a big step to a fiscal union which will be more strong to fight against crisis and to, to, to reach the future for all of us to be successful in fighting against the climate, the climate problem but also for digitalization and modernizing Europe. The second big question is climate. It is obvious that we have to discuss all the activities which we are do, doing on the national level and on the European level. It is our big, big task that as European nations we will be able to reduce CO2 emissions and that we will reach this very early. In less than 30 years Germany decides to be ready with this big task in 2045. It is the biggest industrial modernization process ever since 250 years to do this in 25 years. We will produce completely different as we do today. We need newest technologies, we need much more electricity from renewables and we need uh, hydrogen. So this is something that has to be discussed. But uh, for supporting the economy, it is also good and necessary that we see that there are certain different strategies supporting this process. One of them is what the Commission will tell us very soon about their plans, where there will be also sorts of emission trading systems and the further development of the one we have for the industry, but uh, possibly implementing something similar for housing, for mobility and all these sectors of our industry, which are of importance also. And my view is that uh, if we are doing this in Europe, if we are doing something like this in the UK, if we are doing something like this in Canada, in the United States, in China, in Japan, it is absolutely key that not anyone is following his own strategy. We have to cooperate, we have to build something which gives us the chance to support our industry so that they don't have disadvantages because they are following the climate action plans of our countries and others are not doing this. So possibly the good solution for this will be a climate club that could be built by all these countries and the European Union and uh, I made a proposal like this and I'm happy to use the opportunity to discuss this with all the people attending here. Uh, let me add one more remark to a very important topic which uh, is very important for our future and even for the future of our societies. As you know, I'm working very hard since a long time to make it happen that we have something like global minimum taxation and that we have a better way of fighting against the avoidance of taxes by the big digital platforms. And for doing so, it is absolutely key that we have an agreement on minimum taxation. So we made plans in the working group of the OECD, the inclusive framework, where Germany is doing the coordination work intensely. And we are happy that it looks very much like that we will have a solution in summer this year. And the new administration of the United States makes a difference because they said that it is feasible to do it. They made a proposal for a further development of their own unilateral global minimum taxation, which they already have called guilty. 
and uh, now they made this night a new proposal saying how we could get an agreement on the global level. As uh, you heard, there is this proposal of discussing starting from 15 percent. And I will say this is really a big progress. I am now, at this morning, very happy that we will really have the chance that in this summer, this so long, this, this deal and this agreement that we are working for so long can happen. And uh, so it's a good morning. The United States made proposal for their own guilty tax and they already discussed for weeks and days with all the others how we could make a progress on the global level. And uh, it was obviously that there must be something that could be the basis for a solution between 140 states working in the inclusive framework within the OECD. And I think it is now the point where we can see that we will make it. It's just a very small number of weeks uh, left for getting the agreement. And now I think we are near at this uh, aim. And in Germany, you have been working so hard on this, and you say it's also about social justice. Would you say this is the best chance there has ever been for a comprehensive tax reform, meaning digital, but also corporate? Yes, I do agree. This is the best chance and the best moment for having a global tax reform, which is fighting against um, the race to the to the bottom and that uh, we are will, if this would continue what we have today we won't be able to finance the common goods for our countries we wouldn't be able to find infrastructure education universities research and all the things that are necessary to for 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 the future digitalization or for for instance fighting against climate change and so it is a good day because we need a, an agreement on the global level on minimum taxation, and this will happen now. I'm very happy. And Mr. Schultz, very quickly, you, you sound very optimistic on the German recovery, but also the European recovery. Do you think we're going to see faster growth? I think with this recovery program, we will have big growth in uh, Europe, and Europe will come out of this crisis better than it was before. And so this is the basis for a good future for the European Union. Es ist so, dass wir sehr lange darum gerungen haben, dass es eine Verständigung gibt über die Mindestbesteuerung in den internationalen Zusammenarbeitsstrukturen. Sie wissen, dort ist von Anfang an diskutiert worden über Steuersätze, die um die 12 Prozent lagen. Und insofern war es ein großer, großer Fortschritt, dass die USA für ihre eigene internationale Besteuerung, die sie machen, gesagt haben, sie wollen dort einen US-bestimmten Steuersatz von 21 Prozent festlegen. Die haben ja auch jetzt schon einen Mindeststeuersatz mit ihrer Guilty Tax. Und zu sagen, dass jetzt auf der internationalen Ebene losdiskutiert werden soll bei 15 Prozent. Das macht erstens es sehr realistisch, dass wir in dem Rahmen von 140 Staaten eine Verständigung erzielen werden, aber es macht auch realistisch, dass das ein ambitionierter Ansatz ist. Und deshalb glaube ich, ist das wirklich ein Durchbruch, wo wir jetzt sagen können, es ist mehr als realistisch, dass in der Frage der Mindestbesteuerung von großen Konzernen eine internationale Verständigung gelingt die jahrzehntelang gefordert worden ist und nicht existiert, an der ich seit vier Jahren zusammen mit meinem französischen Kollegen Le Maire so hart arbeite und von der ich glaube, dass sie ein ganz, ganz großer Fortschritt für den, für die, den Zusammenhalt unserer Gesellschaften sind und die Fähigkeiten, die Aufgaben zu erlösen, die wir haben. Ein Steuersenkungswettbewerb, in dem am Ende ein Ergebnis,
Thank you. 